Second <clears throat> chapter number 16. We'll begin reading in verse number 5. The Bible says, And when King David came to Bahurim, behold, thence came out a man of the family of the house of Saul, whose name was Shimei, the son of Gera. And he came forth, and he cursed still as he came. And he cast stones at David and at all the servants of King David. And all the people and all the mighty men were on his right hand and on his left. And thus said Shimei, when he cursed, Come out, come out, thou bloody man, and thou man of Belial. The Lord hath returned upon thee all the blood of the house of Saul, in whose stead thou hast reigned. And the Lord hath delivered uh, the kingdom into the hand of Absalom thy son. And behold, thou art taken in thy mischief, because thou art a bloody man. Verse number 9. Then said Abishai, the son of Zeruiah, unto the king, Why should this dead dog curse my lord the king? Let me go over, I pray thee, and take his head off. I like that guy right there. That's my kind of man right there. Hmm? Uh, I like men that are men. I don't, I don't like sissies, you know what I'm saying? But anyway, let's read on. Verse number 10. And the king said, What have I to do with thee, ye sons of Zeruiah? So let him curse, because the Lord has said unto him, Curse David, who shall then say, Wherefore hast thou done so? And David said to Abishai and to all his servants, Behold, my son, which came forth of my bowels, seeketh my life. How much more now may this Benjamite, Benjaminite do it? Let him alone. Let him curse, for the Lord hath bidden him. May be that the Lord will look on mine affliction, and that the Lord will requite me good for his cursing this day. And as David and his men went by the way, Shimei went along on the hillside over against him and cursed him as he went, threw stones at him and cast dust. And the king and all the people that were with him came weary and refreshed themselves there. Let's pray. Father, we bless you. Lord, we thank you for all the good testimonies. Thank you for the good singing. Lord, thank you for being a good God. Lord, and hearing how you've heard and answered the prayers of your people and how you've opened some's eyes to truth. And God, how you've protected. And God, how you've used some to win others. And God, it's just been good to be in the house of God tonight. My soul's been blessed. My heart's been uplifted. And God, I thank you for allowing us to be here. Now, Father, bless those working with the children on the other side. Bless those working with the teens. And Father, help us here in the sanctuary tonight. Speak to every heart. Bless your people. Encourage and edify the saints of God. Certainly, if there's any amongst us unsaved, I pray tonight be the night of their salvation. And God, help us tonight. Give glory to your name. Use this unworthy vessel. We'll not fail to bless you and praise you for all you do, for it's in the wonderful and holy in glorious name of the Lord Jesus, we ask these things. Amen and amen. I want to draw your attention to several things. First of all, notice that Shimei cursed David. Verse number 5. It said, And when the king came to Behirim, behold, there came out a man, a family of the house of Saul, his name was Shimei, son of Gera, came forth and cursed, still as he came. He cursed David. Now, I want to tell you something. There's been a lot said about David, a lot good and some bad. I will say this. After David's great sin, he went on to do more for God after his sin than he did before his sin. A lot of people don't uh, like to point that out. I'm glad for Psalms 51 where we find that David repented, got right uh, after his sin. Uh, uh, but can I say this, that David's probably a better man than me. Uh, I have a hard time somebody standing there cussing me, just take it. I mean, this man's a cussing David, the king, a man of war. David was a man of bloody hands. He was a man of war. This man's cussing him, and David just acts like he's not even speaking. That takes, a, that takes a, a real man of character. We notice that this man curses David, but that wasn't enough. Then he cast stones at David. Huh? Look at verse 6. And he cast stones at David, and at the servants of King David. Now listen. You might cuss me. You throw something at me. I'm liable to pick it back up and throw it at you. Huh? 
Now, I don't have a 90 mile, fa- now, 90 mile an hour fastball anymore, but I can probably get it up about 70. Uh, but listen, he's cussing him, then he's casting stones at him. Mm-hmm. Let me say something else about this fella. He charged David. Look at verse number 7 and 8. Starts accusing him. And Shimei, when he cursed, come out. And thus said Shimei, when he cursed, come out, come out, thou bloody man, thou man of Belial. He's calling him of the devil. That's what he called him. Says, the Lord hath returned upon thee uh, all the blood of the house of Saul, whose stead thou hast reigned. uh, And the Lord hath delivered the kingdom into the hand of Absalom, thy son. He goes on, he's charging David and accusing David of doing things mischievous. Uh, David did not take the throne from Saul. Uh, Saul lost the throne because he quit trusting in God. uh, And God anointed David. uh, And on three occasions, David could have killed Saul, uh, but he refused to touch God's anointed. uh, And God's the one that gave the throne to David. uh, And here Absalom has spent almost 40 years uh, stealing the hearts of the people at the gate uh, because he was a a well-versed man. He was a good-looking man. uh, And he's stealing the hearts away from the king. uh, And he's leading a resurrection. Uh, uh, If you read on, you'll find out what happens to him uh, trying to overthrow his dad. Uh, uh, Listen, you never take uh, away the man of God. God's the one that puts him in authority. And God's the one that takes him out of the way. Uh, And Absalom... Absalom, uh, he hangs himself with his hair in an oak tree, uh, and the men of, God, of David take Absalom's life. Uh, but listen, this man's accusing David. He's charging him with accounts that David's not guilty of. You know you can defend everything but a lie. You know one thing that I hate? I hate to be lied on. I mentioned earlier that it's, I've been accused of not using King James Bible. I've been accused of a lot of things. I was accused one time of not being a local church man. I'm a local church man from my flat head to my flat feet. Are you listening? Uh, Jesus loved the church and gave himself for it. Uh, 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 the Lord is for the local visible New Testament uh, body of baptized believers. Are you listening? Uh, I'm not for universal church. Uh, I'm a local church man. Uh, uh, 112 of the 115 times you find church in the New Testament is referred to that local visible church. Uh, thanks be unto God for the church. Uh, but I've been told I don't believe in the church. I've been told a lot of things that I supposedly believe. It's amazing the people used to accuse me Never ever once picked up phone called and asked me. What do you believe? Yeah, that's exactly right. Some of you may remember Miss Carol. Miss Carol, she's uh, over here at uh, the Baptist home. She's got Parkinson's. Miss Carol, I'll never forget her mama. Y'all remember Miss Granny? Miss Granny's in heaven. Miss Granny, uh, 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 she kept calling up Miss Carol, tell Miss Carol what I what she'd heard I believed, what I didn't believe, and all that. Miss Carol straightened around, and she'd call her up again. And she finally, Carol told her mama, she said, "Mom, you either quit calling and talking about my preacher, or I'm breaking fellowship with you. You don't want to say anything bad about this old boy in front of Miss Carol, even though she got Parkinson's. That means she can really smack you." Listen. You know what she started doing? She started giving preaching tapes to her mama. Miss Granny got to listen. She said, well, your preacher don't believe that way. Your preacher don't. You say, what happened? Miss Granny couldn't take it anymore. She'd come up and she joined in with us. Started coming to church here. Moved her membership, huh? I preached her funeral, huh? But here's the thing that I started to say, Miss Cinda. What people don't know is a lot of folks in our church have friends in other churches. And they'd hear, well, this guy's running you down, preacher, and this guy... And we've got people in the church who want to go settle the score, kind of like Abishai. It's hard when you're being lied on. Cause you won't. But you know what the Lord just gave me? I just look at him and say, let, let God be true and every man a liar. It's amazing how God turned all that around. How those that used to accuse me don't accuse me anymore. Matter of fact, some of them that used to accuse me have actually sent folks to our church. Isn't that amazing? You know what will settle the score all the time? Just being faithful. Just be faithful. Just trust God. Believe it. Hey, you can't control what's going on out there anyway. You just live for God. Be a light. Be what you're supposed to be. God will take care of all that stuff, huh? 
but I don't like being lied on. I'm sure David didn't like listening to all that. Now, now, let me give you some things about Shimei. He was bitter. His family used to be in power, now they're not in power. He was bitter. I want to tell you something. Bitter people are miserable. Bitter people, you'll reach out to help them and they'll bite you. They're just bitter. Some of them have been so bitter for so long, they don't even remember why they're bitter. They're just bitter. You ever known somebody bitter? I've known some bitter people, just nasty people. And be honest with you, I just don't like being around them. They bring you down. He's bitter. Huh? He's belligerent. It's one thing if somebody's bitter and they just become a hermit. This guy's so bitter, he steps out and he's throwing stones at the king. He's lost his mind. He's just being belligerent, nasty. Huh? You ever seen somebody, I mean, they're just so bitter and they're so belligerent and so nasty, all you got to do is you know, maybe not go as fast as they want you to go to fast, uh, down the highway. And they'll horn cuss you, they'll act all ugly. You ever just be driving, mind your own business, and people just act ugly? Their name's Shimei. That's who they are. Huh? He's bitter. He's belligerent. He is bold. Abishai was ready to take his head off. And by the way, he could have. Uh, David, just three of David's mighty men, heard David in his old age muse. He said, boy, I wish I had a drink from the wells of the water of Bethlehem, or the water from the wells of Bethlehem. These three boys said, the king wants water from Bethlehem. Let's go get it. They fought through a whole garrison of Philistines to get it. They got it, fought all the way back. I mean, slew Philistines coming and going. Come back and they brought David the water. I'm talking about if three men take on a whole garrison, these are some bad old dudes. You think they couldn't take out this guy? Huh? They would have yawned and took him out. No problem. He's bold. But old David, what character? I mean, he says... You know, God may have allowed this just that he might requite me and bless me for having the right attitude. You know what David was really saying and when he's telling Abishai, leave him alone, he's telling all of them, don't, don't pay attention. The guy's kicking up dust and he's frothing at the mouth. He's throwing rocks. He's acting like a moron. David just riding by. You know what David's really telling his boys? He says, I'll just go on for God. I ought to preach on, I'll just go on for God. It really don't matter what the world's doing. It don't matter what Washington's doing. It don't matter what's happening down in Frankfurt. It doesn't matter what's happening across the street. It doesn't matter what people think. Even when folks get ugly and folks get bitter and folks start throwing things and casting accusations and cussing and acting ugly, I'll just go on for God. Are you listening? It don't matter come what may. No matter how hard, no matter how big the mountain no matter how bad the obstacles, uh, I've just purpose in my mind. I just go on for God. Uh, hey, God's been good to me. Uh, he's never let me down. I'll just go on for God. Uh, uh, can I say, uh, first of all, I'll go on for God because He's forgiven me. Uh, hey, uh, I was guilty uh, on my way to hell. Uh, ought to be in hell tonight. Uh, ought to be in hell for things I've said and done since I got saved. Uh, but I'm glad God loved me. Uh, I'm glad He sent His Son to die for me. Uh, I'm glad He shed His blood for me. Uh, and I'm glad on that third Saturday night of March in 1974, uh, when I called, He answered. Uh, when I repented, He forgave. Uh, hey, I'm glad for First John 1, 9. Uh, there's been many a time I've crawled into an altar uh, asked him for forgive and he's forgiven uh, I'll just go on for him uh, nobody else has done for me what he's done for me uh, I once was lost but now I'm found uh, I once was blind but now I see uh, I once was guilty uh, but tonight I'm clean uh, I've been pardoned uh, been set free uh, I'll just go on for him because he's forgiven me hallelujah I just go on for God. And I say this, uh, I'll go on for God because He's never failed me. Never one time has God ever come up short. He's never failed me. And I say He's never failed me in my low times. There's been times I was lower than a snake's belly. Here come God. Uh, never failed me. 
Never been a time that I didn't say, Lord, and he said, what you need? Huh? Never failed me. Huh? Not in my low times. Huh? Not in my lonely times. When I thought nobody cared. Huh? Here come God. Sat down beside me and said, cast all your cares on me, son. Huh? I care for you. Huh? Hey, I'm just going to go on with God. Huh? Hey, he's never failed me even in the lean times. Huh? Uh, we was talking at lunch today. Uh, 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 we, we was there with uh, Christian Tad and Sydney uh, when our kids were little. Uh, you ask them where they wanted to go to eat, they wouldn't say McDonald's. Uh, they wouldn't say Burger King. Uh, they'd say Red Lobster. Uh, we'd say, you better ask Papa. Because uh, we didn't afford Red Lobster. We was eating at Red Lobster today. Could order anything on the menu. Uh, had no problem. Uh, I flipped down the money and paid for it. Uh, what a blessing. Uh, I remember there was some lean times, uh, and he never failed us. Uh, he's always been good. Uh, Brother Ray, when I say helping you, uh, uh, in that one winter, you didn't have any work. Uh, I'll never forget. Uh, Miss Annette told me in January we needed 600 and some odd dollars to get out of the month. Uh, well, that might as well have been $6 million. Uh, hey, uh, uh, the church couldn't afford to pay as much. Uh, Brother Ray had no work. Uh, I had no work. Uh, all of a sudden, my insurance man calls up. Uh, he said, hey, what are you doing? He said, hanging at the house. Uh, he said, why don't you come down to my office? Uh, hey, I went down to his office. Uh, we're talking. I'm expecting him to show me something in my insurance. Uh, he slides a check across the door, across his desk. Uh, he said, the Lord woke me up this morning. Preacher uh, told me to give you that. Uh, hey, uh, that check was exactly what we needed to get out of the month. Uh, and just like God, uh, he said, Preacher, do you like ribs? I said, I sure do. Uh, he gave me gift cards to Montgomery Inn. Uh, we went to had that ribs at the boathouse. Uh, you say, what are you saying? Uh, God has never failed me, friend. Uh, he's a good God. Uh, I'm just going to go on with him. Uh, I'll go on with God. Uh, hey, he's forgiven. He's never failed me. Can I say, I'm going to go on with it because he's flooded me. Oh, yeah. He's flooded me with his presence from time to time. Boy, it's nothing like when God just overwhelms you and overflows your cup with his presence. Uh, there was one time I headed down to Tennessee. Uh, and I don't know how I got there. God showed up in that truck of mine. Uh, for I knew it I was there. Uh, hey, I don't know how I got there. Don't know how many people I ran off the road getting there. Uh, but me and God had a time. Uh, there have been some times I've crawled up in an altar late at night. Uh, and his presence be so sweet uh, and so wonderful. Uh, I'm just going to go on with him. Uh, hey, he's flooded me with his peace. Uh, there's been times uh, when there was no way. Uh, and when all hope was lost. Uh, and all I had to go on was the peace of God of my soul. Uh, and God uh, made a way. Uh, hey, I thank God uh, he's flooded me with his peace. Uh, hey, there's been times he's flooded me with provisions. Uh, he's just provided and provided and provided. He's a good God. I'm just going to go on with God. Uh, now say this. I'm going to go on with God because he's been a friend to me. Uh, Abraham Lincoln said, if you live your whole life and when you die, you got five friends, you're a blessed man. A true friend knows all your strengths, all your weaknesses, all your good traits, all your bad traits, and they still choose to be your friend. He knows my downsitting, my uprising, knows the number of the hairs of my head, knows the thoughts, the intents of my heart. He knows more about me than I know myself, and he still chooses to be my friend. He didn't call us servants. Uh, he didn't call us slave. And I've been thankful to be a slave to the master. Are you listening? Uh, but he didn't call us that. He called us friends. Uh, what a blessing to be a friend of Jesus. Uh, I'm going to go on with him. He's been my friend. Uh, he's always been there. Boy, you look back. You got them true friends that are always there. Boy, but there's only a limit to what they can do. I'm glad there's no limit to what Jesus can do. I'm just going to go on with God. Are you listening? Let them cuss. Let them throw stones. There's folks still cr thinks we were crazy not shutting down last, last summer. 
What happened if we'd been shut down all last summer? I'll tell you what happened. Them 16, 17 kids that got saved and we never got saved. Uh, let them say whatever they want to say. I'm just going to go on with God. Said, Preacher, aren't you worried about the value? All I'm worried about is pleasing God. That's all I'm worried about. Really? You, you just ask me. I'll tell you, that's all I'm worried about. I'm not worried. There's always a virus. There's always a flu. There's always a pneumonia. There's always a bronchitis. I got news for you. There's always a bus that can hit you when you cross the street. Uh, let me help you something. This might surprise some of you. More people died of heart attacks last year than COVID. More people died of cancer last year than COVID. Okay? Are you listening? And most of the people that died of COVID really died of natural causes. You're welcome. Didn't cost you anything. Uh, am I worried about, is there a virus named COVID? Yeah, there's a virus named all kinds of things. I'm not worried about any of it. I'm worried about pleasing God. And if I get COVID and die and I'm pleasing God while I'm a dying, hallelujah, he'll be ready there. I, I want one of them well dones when I cross over. Uh, I'm just going to go with God. He's been a friend to me. But can I say more than that? He's been a father to me. Uh, oh, yeah. He's known how to give me the right advice at the right time. And he's a father that loveth at all times. Even when I'm disappointing him, just like in Luke 15, he's sitting on the porch waiting for me to come home. Are you listening? He's been a father. I'll just go on with God. Let me say this. I'm going to go on with God because he has a future for me. Uh, hey, this isn't the end, friend. Hey, I want to tell you, if there was no eternity, the Christian life is still the best life you could ever live. Uh, but this is just the first stepping stone to all of eternity. Uh, we're headed to a place that's got streets of gold, walls of jasper, gates of pearl, uh, where he's the light of the city. And forever we'll be like him and we'll be with him. There'll be no more sickness, no more pain, no more death, no more separation from loved ones, uh, no more heartaches. Uh, hallelujah. Revelation 22, 3, no more curse, no more sin. Uh, what a blessing to go to this place and be with him forevermore. We're going to get to go and be what it was supposed to be all along. When God made man in his own image, put him in the garden. Man saw God as he was. Man had fellowship with God. Then man messed it up. Jesus Christ come back to make it right. One of these days we'll get to go be with him forevermore. Like it was supposed to be. We'll just be with the Lord. And a blessing to not only have that hope, but that we'll all get to go together. Isn't that a blessing? Huh? We'll all be with him and like him. All get to spend eternity with one another and our loved ones that have gone on. What a glad reunion day that's going to be. I'll just go with God. Made up my mind. Just going to go with him. No sense in trying to change my mind. Been headed down this path for about 47 years now. And he's gotten sweeter to me every step of the journey. I'm just going to go with him. Huh? He's never disappointed. He's never let me down. You say, but what about the Shimeis of this world? They can be bitter all they want to. It doesn't affect me. By the way, it was the Lord that said, Vengeance is mine, I will repay, saith the Lord. The Lord knows how to handle Shimei. I'll just go with God. I'll just go with God. It might be he might requite me or bless me for just going along with him. I'll just go along with God. And sometimes he puts the shimmy eyes in our way so we'll appreciate the journey with God. Sometimes we face them shimmy eyes to remind us what we really deserve. But that's not the way I'm headed because I'm going with God. Yeah, I don't deserve where I'm at. But blame it on God because I've just been going with him. He's taking care of it all. And he'll take care of it all the way. You know, it would be good if some of you just need to make up your mind you're going to go with God. Some of you are up and down and in and out. You struggle with so much. You know what would be good? You just make up your mind. Miss Veronica said from this day forward, Lord willing, she's going to live for Jesus. That's what she said, stand behind her. She's just going to go on for the Lord. Some of us just need to make up our minds. We're just, come what may, we're just going to hang out with Jesus. We're just going to go with him. 
say, well, somebody might not like it. Well, they can lump it. I'm going with Jesus. Uh, you show me somebody to be as good to me as Jesus is, I'll switch. But there, there ain't nobody. So I'll just go with the Lord. Some of you just need to make up your mind. I'm just going to go with God. Some of you may be new to all this stuff. You just make up your mind. I'm just going to go with God and learn what he teaches me and just hang out with him and it'll be all right. Some of you have been in the way a long time. Steps are slower than they used to be. God, just keep purpose in your heart. I'm just going to be faithful and go with the Lord. He's never let me down. I'm just going to go on with him. And David gives us a great example. The world's going to be the world. If he'd have let Abishai take off Shimei's head on down around the bend, there would have been another Shimei. But he just let him act up on down the road, go with God. Be good if you can learn a lot of things are out of our control. People are going to be what the people are. I'll just go with God. You know what happens when you go with God? You're never disappointed. Just go with Him. How about it tonight? Can you go with Him? Let's all stand. Mr. Renee, come to the piano. Brother Ray, get something to sing. Maybe you want to come and thank you. Maybe you want to come tell him you love him tonight. Maybe tonight you need to come and ask him for help. He's a present help in time of need. Maybe tonight he spoke to you hard about something else. Just mind him. That's our rule around here. Let's mind the Lord. Some already come. Some's praying in their seat. They're picking out a song. Let's pray, Father, we sure do love you. Lord, you've been so good to us. Lord, you're faithful and true. Lord, give us the zeal and the strength to just go on with you. Lord, help your people. Some may be hurting tonight. Lord, maybe you need to be so good as to send somebody over to hug their neck. Might be exactly what they need. Maybe somebody needs to come and thank you or talk to you for a little bit maybe somebody here is not saved they need to come get born again God just speak to hearts help us in this invitation well thank you for it in Jesus name thanks to listeners like you IBC has had over 100,000 views on our YouTube channel if you haven't already subscribe today and as always thanks for listening